Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. We got another great presentation. So we're going to teach you about like all the drug interaction with the statins, um, drug drug interaction and the complications. So my name is Pramil Charat. I'm a program director in internal medicine residency, transitional residency. I teach medical students and residents on a regular basis. I'm a assistant professor of medicine and also director of research. Let's get into our topic. So when you talk about drug drug interaction, there's two types of interaction. There's one is pharmacokinetic and the other one is pharmacodynamic. So let's look at what is pharmacokinetic, right? So administration of the drug affect the absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion is affected. When we talk about pharmacodynamic, what do we have? Administration of the drug modifies the pharmacological effect of another in an additive or synergic or in an antagonist fashion, okay? Just remember those two things. So statin, Again, number one prescribed drug in the world, uh, they are HMG coir reductase inhibitors. They can have primary and secondary prevention. The major adverse effects of statin is like, you know, can talk like liver enzyme, rhabdomyolysis. Those are the most common interactions. So when you talk about the pharmacokinetic interaction with the statins, statins, how do they metabolize? They metabolize by cytochrome P50 or like P450, CYP. That's the uh, enzyme system, system of metabolism in many medicines. Uh, and CYP3, CYP3A family is the most abundant subfamily of the um, cytochrome isoforms in the liver. Risk of serious interaction causing myopathy is enhanced when statin metabolism is like a markedly inhibited, okay? So let's look at it. What are the medicines that you pretend to CYP? Um, three, four A inhibitors, they are like clarithromycin, erythromycin, dilatasin, verapamil, itraconazole, ketoconazole, cyclosporine, tracrolimus, everolimus, and HIV protease inhibitors like a retinovirus is very common, okay? When you talk about the pharmacokinetic interaction with the statin, they induce the uh, CYP3, 4A, they can decrease the level of statin. Which are they? Like phenobarbital, phenytoin, rifampin, St. John's wort, and glucocorticoid. They all can like decrease the level of statin, okay? And statin also can alter the concentration of other drugs such like warfarin, digoxin, leading to alteration and more clinical monitoring may need it in those drugs. So let's look at some of the drug-drug interaction. What happened when you have a statin and fibroid combination? So you need to give both of them, okay? Gem fibrosis can increase the risk of myopathy due to elevation in the statin serum levels and it's avoided with the uh, lovastatin, pravastatin, and simvastatin, remember. So if you have to give like gem fibrosis, right, it should be avoided with, you avoid with the lovastatin, pravastatin, and simvastatin, okay? You, if you want like, um, just use also phenofibrate is preferred because it reduces insulin drug-drug interaction. Now, let's look at the statin with amlodipine. Um, usually like no risk that much, you can co-administer with um, um, lower statin and simvastatin can cause minor increase in the statin level combination. Amlodipine is co it can administer with atorvastatin, pitavastatin, rovastatin, fluvastatin, pravastatin, no evidence of significant interaction over there, okay? Now, when you with the dilatasin and verapamil, uh, more muscle related side effects can happen when you have the disease, I mean, the dose can go high. Let's say the simvastatin dose is like less than 10 milligram per, um, tell me, more than 10 milligram, or doses lower statin greater than 20 milligram, you have to be very cautious, okay? Caution should be exercised when statin and calcium blocker combination therapy in patients with various ethnic background, especially like Asian descent, be careful with the statin and the calcium blocker, okay? So again, look at the dose when you use the dilatasum of arapamil, simvastatin and, uh, um, and lovastatin, look at the dose, like 10 and 20 milligram. Now, let's look at the combination therapy with amiodarone. Which one are reasonable? Rubastatin, atrovastatin, pitavastatin, fluvastatin, pravastatin is reasonable to use with amiodarone, okay? When you use lovastatin, don't go greater than 40, gram, 40 milligram. Simvastatin, only you can use 20 milligram. Very, very important. A lot of patients are like, you know, atrovastatin like amiodarone, just be careful like uh, on this. When, you, when do you use uh, combination therapy with the digoxin? So, very careful when you have a atorvastatin. That can cause significant drug-drug interaction with the digoxin, okay? So higher dose of um, atorvastatin may be at increased risk of digoxin toxicity, so be careful about, you know, again, most, uh, most of the time we use digoxin in atrial fibrillation or it could be used in like, you know, heart failure, those kind of things. 
So, um, other drug interaction, let's say anti-anginal medication, renolacine, they can increase the level of statin and side effect. The dose of simvastatin should be more than, should not be more than 20 milligrams. So, again, renolacine, right, anti-anginal medication, reduce the dose of simvastatin, like less than 20. Now, co-administration with the ticagrelor, it inhibits the cytochrome 450 and increase the level of statin. And the turbostatin results in only minor increase in the statin systemic exposure in appropriate patient. When you use dose of simvastatin, lower statin, 40 milligram is the cutoff. And use with the convivaptan and lower statin or simvastatin is potentially harmful and should be avoided, okay? So what about co-administration therapy with um, sacubitril and valsartan? You have to consider lower uh, dose, considered like atrovastatin, flovastatin, pitavastatin, pravastatin, rovastatin, and simvastatin. Okay? So, what about other medications? Let's talk about cyclosporin, everolimus, or cyrolimus. The dose of atrovastatin should be like, um, I mean, you know, 10 milligram and co administered with the, it's not recommended. So, again, cut off atrovastatin should be like, a, don't put more than 10 milligram. Okay? You can, then you have to monitor for creatinine kinase signs and symptoms, muscle related toxicity. Well, what about lovastatin, simvastatin, pitavastatin? potentially harmful, so you avoid that, remember that. So lovastatin, simvastatin, bitavastatin, avoid when you, um, when you use with the cyclosporin, everolimus, or cyrolimus, okay? And then combination therapy of cyclosporin, everolimus, cyrolimus with the lovastatin, simvastatin, bitavastatin, potentially harmful should be avoided. What about co-administration therapy with the colchicine or colchicine, rovastatin, fuvastatin, Lovastatin, bitavastatin, pravastatin is reasonable when clinically indicated. When you talk about like, you know, some dose reduction, which one do you have to do dose reduction? Atrovastatin, simvastatin, lovastatin, um, given the potential interaction mediated by CYP34A, you need to decrease the dose. Okay? Remember that. So always remember grapefruit juice can, I mean, you know, grapefruit juice inhibit the CY3PA and increase the toxicity of statin. And um, drinking massive amount of grapefruit juice should be avoided. I mean, minimal amount is okay, and the combination of warfarin it can cause it can cause inhibition of the warfarin metabolism. Uh, all statin can cause that, except pravastatin. So if somebody's on like a blood thinner, like a, um, warfarin, maybe a good choice is like pravastatin. Okay, a pravastatin does not appear to interact with the warfarin. Should be considered preferred statin for receiving like uh, warfarin therapy. So. Um, I mean, if it's something preferred like atrovastatin, I would go with uh, when, you, when the patient is on warfarin. So, well, how do you do? How do you prevent drug interaction? Always kind of review the literature and um, you know go back to this presentation, kind of each drug and uh, prescribe. I mean, look at the complication and adjust the drug. I mean, normally look adjust the dose. Most of them. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation soon. Thank you so much. Bye.